Hi guys, how's it going? My name's The Flying Chicken, and today I am going to try, at the very least, to tell you about sniping. I have a bit of a cold at the moment, actually, and my voice keeps going, so I do apologise if I have some random squeakiness about me. Um, it due to a cold. I do apologise. Anyway, today I'm going to let you into a little bit of a secret as to how to become a much better sniper. Now, this is something that has taken me a while to do. I've, it, you know, it doesn't. It's not instant. You know, you do need to actually practice a little bit on this one. But if you're given the right, the right guidance, right direction, then you know it's going to make a big difference. Um, so I just want you to watch what I'm doing, listen to what I'm saying. I'll try and take you through as best I can how to be a better sniper. Now, the the first thing you got to do, obviously, is try and keep away from your target as best you can because your main advantage here is the range that you've got. Um, a lot of weapons don't reach this far. Now, I'm not saying, you know, stand still, but, you know, try and keep a distance. As you can see there, you know, close combat, it doesn't work. You know, it can work if you're fantastic, but generally it's not going to. Now, the first thing you need to do is when you're about to take a shot, you need to stand still. You just need to basically stop moving. You know, despite your um, impulses to move, you don't. You need to stop still. Uh, I practiced and practiced and practiced moving while shooting from side to side strafing in order to avoid bullets now it, the, there is a big edge to keep moving while you're scoped in but if you start moving while you're scoped then you're gonna die you know it's gonna fuck up your aim your shots gonna miss it's simple as that you need to get to a position where you're ready to shoot then you need to stop you need to then scope in and readjust and then fire that's the best way that you're going to get your shot. So the moment you start moving is the moment that you've missed that shot. So let's just uh, have a look to see how this next shot of mine works. Let's see, where are they? Is anyone coming up? Nope. Maybe. No. Okay, run over this side. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Anyway. Um leave that for the next next kill so the next bit of advice I have for you is what you need to be doing is you need to be pre-aiming before you're scoping in it's a lot easier to aim while you're scoped out you've got more more flexibility in your movement um, so basically the closer you can get your target to the center of the screen to where your crosshair is going to be before you scope in the quicker you're going to be able to get directly on target and the quicker you're going to be able to kill them you know it's going to this is the one thing that makes the m the most difference is time you need to be quick and this is the only way that you can get this sort of speed is by pre-aiming before you scope in. Now it's very very difficult to actually pre-aim before you scope in because there is no crosshair that's going to, well there is a crosshair but it's not going to help you because it's so broad. Um, what I actually do, and this is my secret, is I use a screen target and what a screen target is, it's basically a sort of a, a very thin plastic printed with a crosshair image on there and you just basically apply it to the screen you know there's no adhesive and it leaves no residue and you just literally a little bit of moisture is all it needs to cling to the screen uh, and that's it. Uh, so what you do basically is you you scope in 
apply your target to the center of the screen and when you scope out you're going to know where that center of the screen is all the time and um, so you can pre-aim a lot easier I want, like I said once you've pre-aimed you're going to be able to you know get you get on target a lot quicker and you're going to make a massive difference um, what I'll do is I will put a link in the description as to where you can get screen targets from they cost nothing you know it's there's only a couple of quid you know it's peanuts you know um and they are well worth it they come in different sizes you know so you've got like tiny ones for your for your, like your 19 20 21 inch TVs and then it goes you got your medium one and you got your large ones for your, like your 40 50 inch screens um so you know there's a target for everyone and that is what's going to make the you know the most difference it's really helped me along with changing you know how i aim you know it, before I, I wouldn't be able to land a single shot i'd never pick a sniper up now it's probably one of my weapons of choice i'll i'll go for a sniper over a famas any day now i used to be famas mad i'd i'd use nothing but the famas but now it's either a sniper rifle or a submachine gun. So I I hope this helps. Um, if you want to leave a comment, please do. You know I'd love to see a video of someone using these screen targets. You know on my advice and seeing how how much it's improved the game. So if you have got yourself a screen target. Uh, and want to show what sort of a difference it makes then by all means post a video response show us what you've done and I'll, I'll accept the I'll accept the request you know so it does make a difference guys um, I will leave you to enjoy the rest of this game there's not a great deal left there's a couple of minutes um, but yeah you'll notice that my target is obviously millimeters away from where I need to actually be each and every time that I scope in watch this there we go okay guys um, let me know how you get on with this and uh, have a good day catch you later oh and don't forget to subscribe I may even give a couple of these targets away for free to my subscribers in fact yeah that's a good idea when I hit a thousand subscribers I'll give away a handful of these targets how about that so if you want a chance of winning one of these targets subscribe and uh, see how we get them catch you later guys